Good evening, everyone. Tonight we have a cello box of 1992 tops in search of the Manny Ramirez rookie card. And that's pretty much it. You know, you, maybe a Sean Green rookie, but I mean, really? I mean, it's Manny or Bust pretty much unless we get, you know, one of the gold cards of the rookies or maybe we get lucky we pull a gold Manny even, which would be nice. But basically, this is another nostalgia trip. You know, the Manny car is a decent one, but that is pretty much it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the Beckett from back in the day. Tonight, we have the Deion Sanders from, excuse me, Deion Sanders version from July of 1992. And we shall take a look and see. Let's see, 1992 tops. You see, up oh, on its way down there. 20 bucks for the hand collated set. And you see there, Brian Taylor rookie cards, $3, hot on the lower end. That was the card back in 1992. And other than his SP Auto down there in the corner, which you're never going to pull, that is pretty much it. And you got Tyler Green there, hot at 60 cents. I mean, pretty much in July of 92, it was Brian Taylor or bust. You know, that's pretty much it. Manny Ramirez there, 75 cents, going down on the lower end. You know, Klesko, the four-piece there, Klesko, Jaha, Bronia, and Stanton, or Staten, dollar. I mean, that was pretty much it. So in 92, it was Brian Taylor or Bust, unless you pulled one of the gold cards. And let's now fast forward to today. And we have down there at the bottom there, 92 tops. Oh, look, 30 bucks. So if you invested a whole shit ton of money into 1992 tops back in the day, you know, and bought a bunch of sets, you would have gained $10 over the course of almost 30 years. So you guys can retire now. All right. So as I said, nothing really going on there. 30 bucks for the set. And if we look here up at the top, you will see you have, you know, some of the obviously Hall of Famers there, Nolan Ryan, a buck, Cal Ripken, $2. I want my $2. Brad Osmus rookie card a buck fifty, Manny Ramirez five dollars, Sean Green a buck, Barry Bonds a buck, and of course the usual, you know, All Stars Hall of Famers there making the grade. But pretty much once again we have Manny Ramirez or bust in this set. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and be back here in a second and get to ripping these cards. All right, let's get started here. Hopefully I won't struggle too badly tonight. Trying to get these damn things open. And of course, I see that, and you know, I just trimmed my nails too, so. And of course, I suck at opening these. Like, really? Are you stupid or something? You know, this is pretty bad here. Maybe sometime tonight, guys. No, oh, maybe I can squeeze this out of here without damaging packs probably not but it's 1992 what am i really damaging all right that was freaking horrible okay looks like we got cards going every which way oh look a scratch off all right we got danny chartable charles nagy let's see here roberto kelly Uh, Steve Avery. Of course, they got to be going every which way. Kevin Seitzer. Pete Cavalia. You got Zeal. You got Stan Javier. Oh, a checklist. You got David Wells looking nice and slim there. Bill Plummer. What do we got here? We got Bobby Bonilla, the man with the greatest contract ever. All right, we got to speed this up. We got John Smoltz. Not a bad one there. What do we got here? We got Kevin Reimer. Andre Scalaraga as an expo. Uh, pretty much that is it in that pack. All right, let's move this along here. Hopefully it won't take me 45 years to get into the second pack. I'm not trying to have a, a four hour break of a 92 top spot. I'm not exactly gonna gain any viewers with that. All right, I guess. 
we'll save the scratch offs for later. Thank you guys for joining me tonight on this endeavor here. As you watch me struggle to open up packs. Looking like a Muppet over here trying to get in everything. Like I'm wearing mittens almost. Okay, oh, we got a draft pick. Steve Whitaker. He's probably pumping gas somewhere today. Okay. Ryan Sandberg there. Another draft pick. Brent Gates. Luis Gonzalez gold cup there. We got... No one Ryan Record Breaker. Probably one of the best cards we get out of the whole set if we don't pull a Manny. And Joe Carter there, Cito Gaston. Okay, moving right along, at least trying to. We got Gerald Perry, we got Dennis Lamp, Sparky Anderson, Jim Abbott there, and Barry Larkin. All right. I would say moving right along, but I don't want to jinx myself. Because apparently I suck at opening up cello packs from 1992. I might have to employ the X-Acto knife on this to save us. Probably my best bet going forward. Just clip these damn things with an X-Acto knife and... Either that or I have to do a lot of editing and save face and edit out all that crap. All right, let's see. We got Dante Bichette, Herbeck. We got Tom Foley, George Brett. Is he showing us the pine tar? David Justice, not a bad one there. Fitz Roberts, uh, we got Jimmy Jones. These cars aren't very smooth, so it's almost like they are not bricking, but oh, there's a nice Ken Griffey Jr. there. I'm putting Nolan right in the back so we can put Griffey over here. Here we got Tommy Lasorda. He just passed away recently, I believe. Or no, he went to the hospital. I don't know, did he pass away or not? I'm not sure. I know I saw an article where he rushed, was rushed to the hospital. We got Mike Messina there. Nice Cal Ripken there. It's one of the more popular cards in this set. As far as stars and Hall of Famers. We got Billy Ripken. Only popular because of that 89 Flair card. We got Will Clark there. Milt Tyler Gold Cup. Mike Socia. And Mackie Sasser. All right, try something here with the Exacto. Well, it worked a little better. We got scratch off. Probably didn't win anything anyway. Yeah, Chris Jones, Kip Gross, Lukey Wilson. You know, they need to get rid of these, you know, landscape cards. Either go all landscape or none. You know, because it's really annoying when you got to go back and forth with them. Especially if you don't recognize who the hell it is at first. Have to note that down and complain to Tops. Will Clark All-Star. Oh, and we get Lee Smith. Jeff Torborg. Rick Honeycutt. Matt Noakes All-Star. Sammy Sosa. Back when he was still black. Okay. Tim Belcher. Mark Einhorn. Omar. Man, these cars just aren't very smooth at all. Just the surface on them makes them not want to slide apart very easily. Not bricking, but just not very conducive to going through quickly. All right, so that method seems to work a little better, at least. All right, we got Greg Vaughn, Tony La Russa. Tony La Russa, probably watching those guys inject steroids. 
now he's back to managing the White Sox at age like 95. Looking like he's had some botched plastic surgery. Denny Martinez, you got Roger Clemens, all-star there. Ozzy Smith, Ron Gant, all-star. And we got top prospects. Man, we got nobody. At least they say this by putting them four sep separately and put them all on the same card. There's a nice Chipper Jones, though, top prospect. I mean, not his rookie, but still, you know, Chipper Jones. Marvin, oh, draft pick, Sean Livesey. Probably got that one framed on his on his wall at his house. Kevin Mitchell. You got Randy Bush. Eric Plunk. Juan Berenger. Alan Trammell. Ellis Burks. And Andy Van Slyke. All right. We're moving right along. We're not really. Moving right along, provided that my dumbass can open up the cello pack in less than five minutes. Which is not guaranteed, apparently. All right, let's see Doug Jones, Buck Rogers. All right, what do we got here? We got cards upside down is what we have. We got Daryl Hamilton, Trevor Miller draft pick, Darren Lewis, Greg Anthony draft pick, Todd Van Poppel, John Farrell, nice hair. Looks like he's auditioning for Saved by the Bell or something. Like I said, these cars just are not easy to go through quick. Gerald Perry again, Sparky Anderson, Jim Abbott, Mel Rojas, Barry Larkin, Jeff Montgomery, Joe Torrey, and Jerome Walton. Backwards, I guess. I don't know. All right, we got Dave Henderson, Sid Fernandez, Mike Greenwell. And these cards do not slide apart at all. This is really annoying. We got Mike Schooler. What's I'm saying with these landscape cards? You're gonna look at them or turn them sideways, and there are a bunch of comments. Nice Wade Boggs, at least. I guess we can put Wade Boggs in the back. Mitch Williams. John Crook. These cars just don't slide. Checklist. See, look, they only slide no matter what. They, they stay together, but they're not bricked. Greg Jeffries, Eddie Murray, and Charlie Liebram. You know, you couple that with taking me six hours to get in every pack, it's going to be a 45-minute rip for a 24-pack cello box, which is not good. All right. Joe Torrey again. Bobby Valentine. You got Jack Clark, Frank Tanana, Bob Welch, Gary Sheffield there. Nice Ricky Henderson. Put Ricky Henderson back there. All right, Jim Abbott All Star, Aaron Seeley, Bobby Bonilla All Star, Paul O'Neill. Nerd alert! Scott Roughcorn draft pick, like it's where they take his high school senior pick, throw it on a card, and call him a draft pick. Scott Stahoviak, Pedro Guerrero, and Cliff Floyd. I guess that's, I don't know, one of the rookies maybe you pull here, Cliff Floyd, I don't know. 
We'll put him down there. At least he's in the picture. Yeah, these are just lovely. I think I moved the exacto knife before I cut my finger off or something. We got Olerud, Donnie Baseball. Let me put Donnie Baseball over there too. We like Donnie Baseball. No block, Greg Olson. We got Shane Mack. Let's see, come on, give me a Manny Ramirez. Phil Plantier. Howard Johnson All-Star. We got Darren Dalton. Oh, there's a Brian Taylor draft pick. The card from back in the day. We'll leave him down there. Because pretty much that's where he belongs now after he went out. I believe he was reading the stories how he got in a fight, so whatever he was doing, and he wrecked his arm. Definitely was uh, one of the most hyped up there with, you know, the Van Popples of the world that were hyped as the second coming. And obviously didn't really pan out. All right, Bobby Valentine and somebody we don't care about. Jack Clark, oh, I've seen this movie before. Tony Phillips, Brett Saberhagen there, Steve Lake, Bob Walk, Leo Gomez, Gold Cup. Oh, there's a nice Frank Thomas. It's not a bad card. Mark McGuire. We got Walt Weiss. Lee Smith, All-Star, McGriff, Barry Larkin, Cal Ripken, All-Star, good star pack, Cecil Fielder, these cards are just slide apart, and Jack McDowell, and Jack McDowell, a lot of people forget about him, he was a perennial All-Star, yeah, but he played for the White Sox at a time where the White Sox really weren't competitive much, so... Doesn't get a lot of notoriety. But if you pull up any old All-Star game, you see them all the time. I mean, well, obviously they gotta pick one guy from each team, so somebody's there who doesn't deserve it, but speaking of All-Stars, there is the man, Canseco, which as you know, gets a seat in the front row. Maybe now we can get the car we're looking for to sit next to him. Which is Manny Ramirez, who we are still looking for. Rob Dibble, Dave Rigetti. Nice shirt, dude. Hey, if I saw myself in clothes like those, I'd have to kick my own ass. Who am I kidding? We probably all had shirts like that back then. In 92. Oh, nice Nolan Ryan. We'll put him in front of his other card there. Leo Franco, Jesse Barfield, and Henry Cotto. All right, we're about halfway through this box. It only took us 65 hours. Good, we're on pace for the longest YouTube video in history. Dumb scratch off. All right, what do we got here? We have Kevin Reimer. We got nobody. Can we get a Manny Ramirez? We got Galarraga. Dave Henderson. Nope. Let's see. Thick pen. Rick Cerrone. He was still playing in. We got Kenny Loft in there. Some Bobby Witt. Maybe we can find a nice Jamie Moyer. Let's see, prospects. Uh, nobody. 
Jim Abbott All-Star. We got here Jim Leland. Aaron Seeley draft pick, Terry Pendleton, Bonilla All-Star again, Paul O'Neill, and Scott Ruffcorn High School draft pick card. Seem to separate this one here. Oh, there it is. All right, Aguilera. You got nice Tom Glavin there. Bill Gullickson, Griffey Sr., Mickey Tettleton, Dwight Evans as an Oriole. Just looks out of place. These are Red Sox. You just can't look at certain players in other uniforms. No Manny yet, though. You just want Manny being Manny. Neil Swift. Buck Showalter. Or Buck Showalter probably wishes if he could just manage one more year with the Yankees. Nope. Oh, he had to get shit can right before they go to win four out of five years. Like that had to have hurt. A little, a little sore on that one. A little salty. But, you know, he did rebound with the Orioles. <laughs> uh, rock Reigns. Robin Yell. Got no Manny being Manny yet. We got Sean Green, looking about 12. So I guess we could put him down there with Cliff Floyd. And Tyler Green. Kevin Apier, you got draft picks here. Again, nobody. We got Greg Olson, Pagnazzi, Tony Phillips. Flanagan. I mean, that's pretty much it in that one. And we'll move it right along. Hoping we can pull a nice Manny Ramirez here soon. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to hit the camera. It's just Manny being Manny. Or just Sal being Sal and hitting the freaking camera. All right. So far, we got no Manny being Manny yet. Take somebody being Manny here soon. An imposter. Biggio All-Star. Top prospects is the Klesko and Rico Bronia. All right, Barry Hill, Bennis, Jeff Reardon, no one cares about. Brady Anderson, Kirby Puckett. Dave Martinez, we got Drabeck, Brian Downing, nobody cares about, you got Bernie Williams there, Kevin Tappany, you got Matt Williams, and Jeff Russell. Appreciate you guys hanging in there with me while we dig through this hot garbage, looking for our Manny Ramirez rookie card. Yes, it's hot garbage. But it's our hot garbage, as they say, so. We got another Nolan Ryan record breaker, okay. Harold Baines, you get Joe Carter All-Star. Harold Baines, you shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. It's the joke. You got Tony Gwynn, rest in peace. Winfield, record breaker. Plenty more deserving players than Harold Baines. But hey, it's why I had the Veterans Committee. Vote in people who couldn't make it the first try for a reason. Because they suck. 
No, I'm just kidding. Harold Baines didn't suck. I mean, that goes without saying. He didn't suck. He just wasn't a Hall of Famer. He wasn't dominant. Nobody feared Harold Baines. He was just a compiler that hung around a long time and didn't get hurt because he played DH a lot, so. But hey, he's in the Hall of Fame. Joe Carter, Langford, Oil Can Boyd, Wally Joyner, Albert Bell, Von Rodriguez, you got Winfield, Bernanski, you got somebody, nobody cares, Andre Dawson, you got, who you got here, Steve Bouchelle, you got Ron Gant, Glenn Davis, Omar Oliveris, I guess. Juan Samuel, Aldretti, Terry Lee, and Mark Wollers. Oh, almost knocked Cal Ripken off his thing. This pack is somewhat stuck. This is bad. Ugh. They're their first year without the bubble gum. Just they're killing me. Kill me more if I don't get a Manny Ramirez soon. Unless I missed it, which hell, anything's possible. Digging through hot garbage, you're bound to miss a gem. Oh, Benia, Tyrone Hill draft pick. Von Hayes. Sean Green, another one of him over there, Derek Bell, Tyler Green, and we got Chuck Finley, Lauser, Ruben Sierra, another Cal Ripken, Dave Steve, Billy Ripken, who you got this, Brian Harvey, Will Clark, Milt Kyler, Gold Cup, Sosha, and Mackie Sasser. All right, we're nearing the bottom of this hot garbage. Anyone still alive there with me? Hopefully. Hopefully some of you guys have not fallen asleep. Made it through the whole video. I'll give you guys credit if you do. A lot of credit, to be honest, with this crap. Don Mattingly. Already got one of him down there, so. No block, Olsen. Was he walking like an Egyptian? Yeah, I know, that was corny. But somebody got it out there. Brett Butler. Here we go. Jeffries, Eddie Murray. Lee Brandt, another checklist. Gotta have those checklists. How are you gonna complete the set? Jimmy Gonzalez draft pick with that soul glow and the, the juices flowing there, juices and berries. And Wade Boggs, all star. Trust me, I am not damaging these cards. I know some of you guys are really worried. I am not damaging the cards. Would not dare damage such pristine cards as these 1992 tops. Hot garbage. Roberto Alomar. Steve Sachs. And you got Mo Vaughn there. Palmero. Willie Wilson as an A. Odd looking. Used to seeing him in a Royals uniform. Ron Darling, another one. That's odd seeing him. Not in the Mets uniform. You just associate these players, you know, just because, you know, most of your childhood you watched them and, and on a certain team, and then it just looks odd when you see them on a different one. You got Samberg All-Star there, Ruben Sierra All-Star, Hershiser can rot in hell for beating the A's, uh, Glavin All-Star, Jeff Bagwell Gold Cup. Not a bad one there. Put them off to the side for now. Barry Bonds All-Star. 
Barry Bonds was a douche, so the hell with him. Well, Babe Ruth is still the single season home run champ, and Hank Aaron is still the career home run champ in my eyes. To hell with the cheaters and the ones who took advantage of the juice balls in the late 90s and early 2000s. Baseball just wanted some money, and then they got it with the home run chases. And we got nothing so far in here. Not Larry Walker. I swear I haven't seen a Manny, or a Manny yet, but you know, Jim Tomey. Sean Dunstan and Larry Anderson. Gotta wonder, did someone, someone know the sequence to these and search through them and found the Manny? We shall see. You have three left. You got a Clemens. Howard Johnson, John Smoltz, Eric Karos, Tom Gordon, oh we got a gold card, Jeff Treadway of the Braves, there you go, I guess we can put that there for now, our one gold, I think I'd rather have the Manny to be honest. And a Jeff Treadway, but you know, hey, Scott Stahovia again, another Cliff Floyd, Ryan Sandberg, Julio Franco All Star, Luis Salazar, Brent Gates, and Luis Gonzalez Gold Cup. I was wondering why that car was backwards there for a second. I'm sitting here, I'm like, that's odd. I didn't think I missed that, but I forgot about the, the gold inserts there. So wrapped up trying to find a Manny Ramirez. All right, come on, guys. There we go. Ron Calderon, Pat Combs. Here we go. Some cards I haven't seen before. Maybe we'll see it. Manny Ramirez. Maybe not. We got Sean Estes. Sandy Alomar, Jose Rio, Bill Sampin, Tom Henke. Look like he should drive the white panel van. Kelly, Ricky Jordan, you look like some new names here that I haven't seen before, at least not tonight. All right, last pack. See if we can get lucky now, finally. Maybe. Tony Fernandez, Mike Moore, Maddox, Deion Sanders, that's a new one there. I haven't seen that one tonight yet. Well, we got a checklist. Maybe a checklist is a good sign. Jimmy Gonzalez, not the draft pick we're looking for. Wade Boggs, Paul Ferry, Lindemann, Daryl Strawberry, Tyrone Hill draft pick, Jim Gott. Oh man, come on, give me Manny Ramirez. Gary Carter, Sarudi, yeah, Roger Clemens, Manuel Lee, not the Manny we're looking for. Jeff Passero, 
Mark Guthrie, Tim Cruz, and Howard Johnson. All right. So we got no Manny Ramirez, but we did get a Ryan Taylor, just for ha-ha's sake. Card is worth nothing nowadays, other than a good laugh. And that is pretty much it. Ton of cards, 24 packs of cello, no Manny Ramirez rookie card. Could they be searched? Could they not? No idea. Everything's possible when cases or boxes, I should say, aren't sealed. So you never know. Didn't get a gold card, though. Um, unfortunately, it is Jeff Treadway. So now that being said, I still appreciate you guys hanging in while we sift through this hot garbage looking for Manny Ramirez rookie card. And I will see you in the next video.